Hey guys, today I have a different type of video for you guys. I actually haven't seen anybody doing this video and also I've never done one myself. So I figured I would bring it to you because, I don't know, I had a lot of fun because I was thinking about products and I was like, gosh, I really love that product, but I really hate that product. I don't know. Do you guys ever get that where you like love a product for whatever reason, but you hate it for, you know, whatever other reason? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any of these love-hate relationships with products. And I'd, I'd love to know if anybody is just like me and feels like some of these products are amazing, but there's like this flaw to it. Or there's a whole bunch of flaws, but there's like one amazing part to it. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have the same kind of feelings as me about some of these products and let's just get right into it. So these are all the products that I have a love-hate relationship with for one reason or another and I will go through them all and let's see what we've got here. So the first thing I'm picking out of my bin here is this ColourPop Cream Highlighter and this is in the shade Dreamcatcher. You guys know I've been trying to use up this product in my products use up in 2017. I did hit pan on this product finally, spoiler alert, sorry, but I did finally hit pan on this product, which means I feel like I've used it quite a bit, like an obnoxious amount almost. This is my love-hate relationship with this product. It is beautiful, right? Like. It is so pretty. It feels so nice and creamy. You swatch it. I mean, look at that shimmer on my finger. It's just a really amazing product. Like, it's so creamy. It's like the cream to powder kind of finish, but it feels creamy still on the skin. This is my hate part of this relationship with this product, because that's a thing. It's not a thing. Anyways, I hate cream highlighters. I feel like it like moves my foundation around a tiny bit so I have to really go in super light with my finger and like tap it in. Like I can't do any more than just tapping. Which is fine, but I hate that I have to do that. It takes me forever to put this on. But when I do put it on, it stays on all day. It looks beautiful. It looks so healthy and natural on my skin. I mean, it does give me a glowiness, obviously. It is a highlighter, but it doesn't make me look crazy glowy, you know? It just gives like a really natural like glow to my skin, and I really love it for that reason. But for the fact that it's a cream highlighter, it drives me crazy. I just don't like cream products very much. I don't know. I have a love-hate relationship with this. I love picking it up and using it, but I hate picking it up and using it, you know? The next product is a setting spray. I know a lot of you guys got this in your BoxyCharm just like I did, but it is the Project Beauty Spray Set Go setting spray. This, <laughs> I love this product so much because I am a powder foundation kind of girl. I always use powder foundation on the rare occasion I will use liquid foundation even today I'm completely only powder foundation so <laughs> this product is amazing for making that powder just seamlessly like fuse into my skin it doesn't leave like a powdery finish I did not use this today by the way but it does not leave like a powdery finish to my skin. It really sinks in and like soaks it down but dries really perfectly. It doesn't leave like any splotchiness or anything like that. But my hate part of this relationship, I hate, why am I saying relationship? It's not a relationship. But my hate part of this product is it sprays so aggressively. Like, <laughs> Like, you know those blaster guns from, like, kids? Like, those little, like, blaster guns and you go, and it, like, sprays it out? That's how I feel like this sprays at me. It's so aggressive, and it's, like, mad at me when it's spraying. It, <laughs> I think that's the part of why it sets my powder down so well, because it really, like, soaks my face. But I don't, I love it. I, I hate it so much, but I love it. I don't know. That's one of these products here. I would totally purchase this again though, even though it is very aggressively spraying. I, it works so well. The next item that I have might surprise quite a few of you, but it is my Naked Palette by Urban Decay. 
So, <laughs> I have to preface this by saying the word so. So this palette, as most of you know, is a beautiful palette. It's very neutral, it blends beautifully, the, the shadows are super creamy, super buttery, they literally blend like a dream. But my problem I have with this palette is that whenever I use this one, I always have to dip into other palettes because all of these shadows but two are like satin finishes or, you know, glittery finishes. I, I hate that. There's not enough mattes. There's only two mattes in this palette. This, where is it at? Naked is one of the mattes and buck is the other matte this is not this is like my skin color almost like i don't even know where's a good spot my arm i don't know but it like it blends into my skin just like it's my skin color this is a good like highlighting shade for me because it's a bit lighter but this is my skin color i can't use this for a transition color i mean i do but it doesn't give me enough of a transition color and then other than that there's no other darker colors. My one that I go into a lot is Dark Horse here, but that one has like a gold reflect to it and I don't like that on my outer corner. Yes, I am like super glittery today because I'm trying to use up some products and trying to use products I haven't tried in a while, but why? Just give me a few more mattes, like two more, like a medium deep and then a really deep one and I would be so happy with this palette but there's too many shimmer shades I never use this gunmetal shade I only use this hustle shade a couple times like I just that's why I don't reach for this palette very often because whenever I do I have to dip into other palettes and that drives me crazy I know it's like a theme that you know you use multiple palettes whatever but that is my love-hate relationship with this palette I love it I use it I just don't use it as much as I would like to use this palette. Two more dark matte shades. I'm just saying. <sighs> okay, I only have three more products to go through for you guys. The next one might surprise some of you. It is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I know everyone loves this. Maybe not everyone, but close to everyone loves this concealer. I... <laughs> You guys know I don't use liquid concealer very often. I use my powder concealer or my powder like lightener and that's it. And some days I do use a full face of liquid foundation, liquid concealer, liquid highlight, liquid bronzer. I do do that sometimes. I just don't like this, but I love it too. Ah, okay. So first of all, I think I got a shade too dark for me. I will show you the shade that I picked up. I picked up Light Neutral, and this is the shade here, but once you get it on my face with the foundation, it looks almost like the color of the foundation because I typically go, like to go lighter on my foundation so that I can put a bronzer on and make it really bronzed and pretty, just you know whatever color I want to be that day. And this concealer, first of all, it's thick. I know a lot of you guys don't think it's thick, but I think it's thick because I like a very watery concealer because I have really, really bad creasing under my eyes. So that's my biggest problem with using liquid concealers is that it really settles into those lines and it looks terrible. But this one, I've gotten it to work a couple times and when I do get it to work, it's amazing. I look flawless. My under eyes are so bright, so just, they just look so good but when I use this and I don't set it right away or I don't blend it right away and it creases it just creases so bad and throughout the day even if I do get it to look really good throughout the day hours and hours later it creases really bad under my eyes so I don't know I definitely want to try to pick up a lighter shade and maybe I'll use like a lot less product I have tried to use a bunch and I've tried to use a very little bit I don't know, but I, I want to like this one so much and I do like it when I use it and it works well, but then a lot of times it just doesn't work well. I don't know. I have a love-hate relationship with this. I don't tend to grab it very often, but when I do want liquid concealer, I do tend to reach for this because I did pay the money for it and I want to use it. I, I don't know. I know a lot of you guys love this one. I just... 
It's not my favorite, but it's not my least favorite, but I like it and I hate it. That's my opinion on that one. The next product I have here might also surprise some of you guys. It is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I know you guys know what this looks like. This one's also in my products use up in 2017 video. I like it and I hate it. So I have it on my lashes today. It looks really good today. But I... <laughs> I don't know. I have been using the lengthening side more often than the volumizing side and I've been liking it more. But when I use the volumizing side, you know, when you use the shorter bristled side instead of the longer one, it clumps so bad and I can't get the clumps out for everything. Even if I flip it over really, really quick before it dries to the lengthening side, it clumps so terribly bad. I just... I stopped using it for that reason, but I paid the money for this full size product and I put it in my products use up in 2017 to get my money's worth out of it. But then I stopped using it because I was like, why am I using something that I don't like? And then I picked it up again after it had been sitting for a little while and I don't know if it like got creamier as it's been sitting, but I'm liking it again. <laughs> I've only been using the lengthening side of this mascara instead of the volumizing side. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I'm guessing it does. I don't know though. I love it and I hate it. I like reaching for it and I like using it, but I hate reaching for it. You know? I don't know. And the very last item I have for you guys is also another product to use up in 2017 product and I've been using these like crazy so I've really been getting to know what I like and what I don't like and this is one of them that I love and hate at the same time. It is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and this is in the shade Light Bronzer so I think that's where I went wrong right away is this is the lighter color. I'm actually wearing this today as my bronzer here and here and down my neck a little bit as well. And I think it looks good. I, I don't know. I did change the brush that I was using on it and that made me like it a lot more. I was using like a dual fiber type of brush. I know it's not your typical bronzer brush, but I did use that for many, many other bronzers and I loved it. But then when I used it for this bronzer, I hated it. But then I was like, I paid full price for this, so I wanna use this up. And then I switched brushes and I started using my Tarte flat ended kind of like sculpting oh that was a lot of powder sculpting brush and now i'm loving using this i hate the smell oh god oh it smells terrible i know people like this i don't like that smell every time i open it I, it just grosses me out i don't like it anyways i think the color is a little off for me too because it does look a little orangey on my tone on my skin tone it tends to lead towards the orangey side on my skin tone and I just, I don't know, some days I really like this and some days I put this on and I'm like, oh, that looks terrible. So I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. I really want to be able to use it up. I haven't hit pan yet. I'm getting very, very close in one of these spots. I really like this when it works well and it looks good, but then I hate it so much when it looks orange and terrible and it makes me want to take off my full face of makeup because my bronzer looks way too orange and crazy. I'm very conflicted about this one. Oh god and that smell is terrible. It's so overpowering and overwhelming. Oh, if people, sm people say that it smells like coconuts on the beach or whatever, no. That smells straight up like butter to me. Like I'm licking a stick of butter. Like oh, oh. I don't like that smell. So that was all of my products that I have a love-hate relationship with and why I do. And make sure to comment down below on any products that you have a love-hate relationship with. Also, thumbs this video up if you want a round two of that. I've actually found a bunch more products that I also have a love-hate relationship with. So make sure to thumbs this up if you want to see that secondary or part two round two video of this. And make sure to subscribe below and ring the bell for more videos from me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Let me get normal sitting. It is the Sharp, Sharp? I'm actually wearing, oh, because I've been using these like crazy, cra